Hey there YouTube friends, welcome to bass lesson number 17. Today we'll talk about using ghost notes. Now ghost notes are also referred to as dead notes or mute notes and they add a percussiveness to your playing. The song that I opened this video with I wrote back in 1995 and that whole song was based around a bass line that used a lot of ghost notes. It was very percussive. Now, I learned how to play ghost notes by listening to this guy, Mr. Jaco Pistorius. And today, I'm going to show you how to use ghost notes so you can incorporate them into your playing. I have a simple exercise to do to get you going, and we're going to get going right now. Okay, to get started, I want to play a little something so you hear what ghost notes sound like. gives the bass line its percussiveness. And if you look at my left hand over here, it's very relaxed and it's just laying across the strings, putting barely any pressure on it, just enough to mute it. That's the sound you want to get. And if you look at my right hand, you'll see my index finger come down and slap the D string and then pull across. So it's kind of a slap and then a pull. Hear that? Try to play that with me. Then we can put our middle finger in there. So we'll alternate fingers. Try that. Try to get that sound right. Nice muted ghost note right there. That's how you play ghost notes. Now I have a simple exercise to expand upon that and get you going. This is what today's exercise is going to sound like. And we're going to break it up into small sections. Refer to the tablature. Each section that we'll be playing will be color coded in green. This first section is real simple. We're going to play an open A and then play G, hammer to A. Play that with me. One more time. Okay, now we'll move to the next section. This is where the ghost notes come into play. We're going to keep our ring finger over that A, that 7th fret D string. We're going to mute it. And then with our plucking finger, our index finger over here, we're going to slap, pull, and then play open A. So slap, pull, open A. Get a feel for that. Play that a couple of times. Now let's glue these two pieces together. play the next section, which is going to be A, G, G, A, A, G, G, A, one more time, now if we put it all together, it's going to sound like this, one more time, now we'll move on to the next section, okay, now let's move on to the next highlighted section. That's going to be open A, F sharp, hammer to G. Open A, F sharp, hammer to G. Okay, now we'll go to the next highlighted green section. We're muting that G. It's a slap, a pull, 
and then open A. Okay, now let's put both of those sections together right there. One more time. Okay, let's play that last highlighted section now, which is A, G, A, C. A, G, A, C. Now let's play this whole section right here, put it all together. One more time. Now let's put the whole thing together, right? So once you've made your way through this lesson, experiment with the ghost notes on your own. Experimentation is going to be a huge part of your development as a player. And when you're using the ghost notes, think rhythmically. You don't have to hit a lot of notes. You can play right here in this box. We can do something like this. Put all those little ghost notes flavor to the baseline, all right? And um, these lessons that I'm giving you, 1 through 17, up to this point, take a little of this and take a little of that and develop your own style of playing. And then maybe you go off and you write some songs of your own, all right? It's all about you. That's it for me for now. If you enjoy this lesson, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And if you like private lessons with me, Visit stevekonbase.com and shoot me an email. Just stop by and say hello. Catch you next time. See ya.